Hey everybody, this is Firecraft 522 here with my 12th Hammer Editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add dust into your map so you have some sort of dusty, abandoned kind of map like DE underscore dust, like on Counter-Strike Source, if y'all have played it. Um, what we're going to be using is called uh, Funk, Funk Dust Cloud. <clears throat> I'll explain that once we get all this loaded up. So go to Source SDK, load that up, choose your engine version, current game. It should be for every game I've tested it. That all I have. Uh, go to click on Hammer Editor, load it up, have your map. Oh, snap. And what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to select it. We're going to drag it. Remember, we only need like the outside of it. Okay, once we... Okay, actually I want to drag it upward. And once we do that, you see how we have a duplicate over here with the skybox crap. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Tools and Transform. And since we and so we need to scale this down 16 times its original size. So since everybody knows that 16 or one divided by 16 is 0 0.0625. Alright, so we're going to hit OK, and it turns it into like this little box for me because my map's only 1024 by 1024. But um, here's that little tiny ass box. We're going to make it the skybox texture. And now we're going to choose the, we're going to get our entities tool, and we're going to type in uh, sky underscore camera. We're going to place this right in the middle of our little box. And your box may not be this small, mainly because your map's probably not going to be this small, but if it is, good for you, I guess. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go to Browse. We're going to find the Trigger Texture, which pretty much looks like this. The little orange that says Trigger. So I'm going to lower my grid sign so I can fit this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and drag it, make it fit. Once you have it aligned in your grid views, all the way, we're going to go ahead and hit enter, and you will be able to see that you have a trigger texture, but only if you're like inside the sky, because that means you did it right. So once you have your trigger texture down, hit control T, choose function underscore, or func underscore, <clears throat> dust cloud, which is right here. Give it a name, dust, I guess, if you want to mess with it later. Start disabled. I don't want it to start disabled. I'll choose like a brownish color for mine. That's brown. That's like a light brown. I'll choose a darker. More of an orange. Okay, we want to lower our particles per second, mainly because we don't need 40 particles in such a little tiny space, so we'll do about, like, I don't know, um, what, what would that be a good number? I'll say, like, three or so. Uh, maximum particle speed, we can leave that the same. Minimum particle life, maximum, we have all that assigned. The visible distance, well, it's only, like, 64 or 62, so we only need to set that to, like, now, we can leave it, uh, since we don't need to render that many particles that are, like, far away. Uh, particle size, we want to change this from being, like, super huge, since the box is only so big. And so we're going to do something like, I don't know, 10, and then the maximum as 15. And just something for that. And now... Where I can, I'm gonna have to place a info player start. Bam, and your map is your map now has dust in it. And if you didn't know, this is also a 3D skybox tutorial. Uh, just by this little box up here, you made it to where it the map renders a small area. But with, with bigger objects, 
Uh, I guess I'll do another tutorial of the 3D Skybox to explain it more, but it's pretty much how you do dust clouds. Now, I'm going to show you how to make um, rain in your map, <clears throat> along with the dust, I guess, rain or precipitation, whatever. So, with the trigger texture still, we're going to go into the big map area. We're going to select the corners, uh, drag the texture or the brush or whatever, make it to where it fits just inside the playable area. And okay, once you've done that, hit Control T and then choose Funk underscore precipitation. Hit apply. You can name it whatever, do the density, how thick you want it, uh, the color of it. And if you want, you can toggle it on and off by changing the name. And once you compile your map, you should have dust and precipitation. I'll add a picture of my map of what it looks like after I add all my little lighting and stuff because this is really full bright and ugly looking. Alright, well this has been Firecraft 5.2 with my 12th hammer editor tutorial teaching you about dust clouds and precipitation. Uh, have fun, don't burn yourselves.